Do you feel overwhelmed by how chaotic your computer is? So did I. I came up with three simple steps to clean it up and in this video I'm going to use them to show you how to declutter your computer. Plus, if you stick with me to the end, I'm going to give you a bonus tip that you do not want to miss. By the way, if we haven't met before, my name is Hava Schultz and if we have, you might not recognize this background and I did mention it in another video. I am currently in New Mexico where my boyfriend lives now and I decluttered my computer while I was here. So proud. And I haven't figured out the lighting inside, so for now, or maybe forever, I'm going to record my talking head portions outside. I want to talk about the importance of decluttering digitally because there's a lot of similarity between your physical space and your digital space. The fact is, it is the 21st century and we do spend a lot of time in our physical space because we are physical beings and there's kind of no way around that. And it's normal for stuff to build up and acquire over time. But now with all the technology going on, we spend so much time digitally, whether it's on your phone or your computer or a television or what of whatever other smart device. So with that in mind, it's important to make sure you have some sense of order, just like in your physical space. Even if you're not the neatest, tidiest person ever, it leads to a healthier, more peaceful psyche to have some sort of order. The first step to decluttering your computer is to make space. You need to start by cleaning out before you can clean up because it's a big waste of time to organize something that ultimately you're just going to end up deleting later. Why ever give it your attention? I started by looking at the breakdown of storage on my computer to see what was taking up the most space because as you can see I was at capacity on my computer and I was even getting warnings about being at the top of my capacity from Apple for a couple of months. So I started by looking at the big picture and I went through and deleted items that were taking up tons of gigabytes that I knew I wouldn't need anymore or I offloaded some things that maybe were taking up a lot of space but could go onto an external hard drive and free up the room on my computer. And I was really proud of myself by starting with the big picture because I was able to open up about 157 gigabytes of space on my computer. Now something useful for Mac users to note is that text messages can take up a surprising amount of space on your computer. In fact, on my computer, it took up over 23 gigabytes, and that's including text and files that are stored within text like pictures and videos. And if you've seen my phone decluttering video, check it out after this if you haven't, you might recall that I actually deleted all of my text messages. Well, just because I deleted them on my phone does not mean they deleted from my computer. So I went through and got rid of all that too to open up that 23 gigabytes of space. I also did find some random files, documents, whatever that I did delete, but I didn't get to those until the second step, which we're about to get to, because I wanted to just start with the big picture as far as clearing storage out. So you can go through absolutely everything on your computer and get rid of everything if that makes the most sense for your setup. I just didn't do that until the next step, which is organize your files. So this means looking for files that have some similar theme or use or some kind of connection and then organizing them into folders. I already had some semblance of organization because it wasn't the first time I'd sat down to organize my computer, but I still needed to delete some folders, create some new ones, put some folders inside folders, and ultimately just kind of clean it up. You might be starting from scratch and that is totally fine. For me, the goal at the end was to have no loose files, everything having a place where it belongs on some sort of category within a folder. Speaking of folders, you could consider a naming system for your folders if you're doing something that has to relate maybe with time, like years or months or something where maybe you've got some other reason you could come up with a system. It didn't really work for me, except I do it when I log receipts and keep track of receipts for Leia Jordan Artwork, which is a business that I co-founded and run with my very talented sister. You can check it out in the description below if you're interested. Shameless plug, I'm very proud of this business we've put together. And that's the only case that I have that I have a naming system where I do like I think I do 01-January, 02-February, and so on and so forth, just so that the dates come in, the months come in in order. But other than that, just do what works for you. After organizing, you're gonna start to see the progress like crazy, but step three, beautify, is what's really gonna take you to the finish line. The obvious things you can do are customizing your profile picture and changing your desktop wallpaper, which as you can see with mine, was left with the default that came with a systems update that I did on my computer. And then for anything that you've left on the desktop in terms of folders and stuff, 
you can actually change the icon from the folder icon to kind of whatever you want. And so I'll go ahead and link up in the description below an Instagram reel that Lucy Fink recently posted about how to do this, which is how I learned it, if you wanna go into more depth on that. But I will warn you with your desktop, personally, I try to keep it as clean as possible, which is why I've just chosen one folder to keep here because it's kind of like with my bedroom that I try to keep the surfaces pretty clean and just have very selected stuff there to keep a nice minimal look because for me that is a low stress environment. After finishing the makeover inside my computer, I went ahead and worked on the outside and for me that basically meant cleaning off the screen, like really wiping it down so it was nice, no fingerprints, no dust, just nice and clean where all I'm looking at is what's supposed to be displayed there. Something else I wanted to do was get a can of air and spray my keyboard to get any junk out there. Like sometimes I get eraser shavings in there when I'm working next to my computer or if I eat sometimes like little crumbs get in there. I don't know if that happens to you too but I wanted to just Kind of a fresh start, but before this recording, I didn't have one. So maybe by the time this video goes up, I'll have done that and have some B-roll here for you. But otherwise, it's just a great suggestion to get that physical, clean feeling. And something else I thought would be fun, since I'm in New Mexico, visiting here for so long and it's kind of a new place for me i thought it'd be fun to put a new sticker on my laptop but i do not have one yet again maybe i'll have a cool after shot for you if i can get one before this video goes up i like to collect stickers on my travels and so this is where i'm at i only started this about a year ago i think maybe that yeah, was it a year a year and a half ago two years ago maybe i don't know now before I give you the bonus tip, I'm going to give you a quick recap on how to declutter your computer in three simple steps. One, make space. Two, organize files. And three, beautify. Drum roll! Let's get to that bonus tip. Back up your computer. Really, this is something you want to do because if anything unforeseen should happen, you don't want to have lost all the work you did. So backing it up is just sort of an insurance to make sure you have something you can use to refresh your computer and put all your new changes back on there. Or if you end up getting a new computer, you can just move all of this onto the new one. So that is my gift to you. Back it up. One more thing, since you're still here, click that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Back it up. Back it up.